Hidden inside the skull is a piece of rolled up paper torn from a notebook written neatly on the paper is a, in black ink is a poem. A suspect believes in a crime. Yeah. White male. Five to six, five eight to six feet. 150. Uh, suspect name is Avery Marks. Background. Indicated in 1997 for an attack on a young woman in Greenwich Village. Disappeared while on bail. Paid by, paid for by his mother. Also wanted for a subsequent murder of his widowed mother. Okay. February 1998. Victim found in darkened bedroom. Offender had apparently switched off the power in her apartment house. Huh. Known to keep birds present whereabouts unknown. Poem found her. Uh, huh. From the east, the idiot monster cometh. Okay. With nails to announce its blasphemous intent. In still dark chambers, it awaits the shadow. Ebon body scars the power. Dark messiah with a hideous strength. For we are many. Creepy. Very creepy. And now we get to Jack 2. Uh, known as Jack 2 for reasons that will become evident later in this report. Based solely on women striking late at night in the early hours of the morning on or near London underground stations in the east end of London. Much like Jack the Ripper. Uh, the offender has so far murdered four women. Marie Nichols, Anna, Chap Anna Chaplin, Eliz Eliza Strinder, Katrina Edison. Whitechapel, Swordwich, Ardgate East, Ardgate Station. August 31st and November 9th, 1888, by the offender known as Jack the Ripper, we can see some striking similarities. Mary Ann Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Catherine Eddowes, Mary Kelly. Yeah, you can see the similarities in the names. And it's actually interesting that he killed two people on that on one day. Uh, I think it was something about, um, I saw something just on TV about this, which is kind of funny. Um, it was something about that he promised the police, he said to the police he would, uh, cut off the ear of, uh, the next wom woman he killed, which was, unfortunately, I believe, uh, Catherine Eddowes. So he killed two people that one night for that reason. Um... As can be seen when comparing the above list, all the last victims have very similar names to the original, yada yada yada, and they very close in uh, mapical, uh, geographical locations to each other. Uh, similarities, da, 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 compared to the impression of the offender began at this point without the man in figure 2, a contemporary impression of Jack the Ripper. Yeah, you can see why. Looks very similar. Uh, let's see, uh, following, uh, oh yeah, no prime suspects. Discovered squad in white chalk on a wall near White Chapel. The watchers at the gates of souls shall make the way. The five are red in tooth and claw. The head, the heart, the hands, the teeth, the eyes. All combined to create the five. For we are many. Discovered squad in white chalk near Swordwich. The knife shall carve its bloody ritual. A sanguine sanguinary return to a darker place, flesh running cold with the shedding of tears, to shred, to cut, to slice, to know, the weeping sound and its glooming soul, for we are many. Damn, this is taking up a chunk of time. Okay, now we're done. Oh, no, no, I don't wanna. Eh. There we go. Whew. Okay, so, sorry about that. I mean, I, I, I just wanted to read that. If I mean, I probably shouldn't have, I probably could have flipped through it, because I kind of know some of that, but, uh, um, sorry, if, I mean, if you guys, I don't mind if you guys have skipped over to this part already, I really don't, ah, crap, I forgot about that, oh, well, we can grab some stuff, more cuddle around here, da -da 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 -da. and, this, we will learn about a little bit later, too. Go away, you egrets, herring, herring, whatever the hell you are. I think they're egrets, I don't know. Jump! There we go. 
Turn the corner. Jump. And over. Whoa! Uh, that what wider just went kind of fucked up. Get up there, Mike. There you go. Yeah, um... I should also talk about that, I guess. Uh, okay, this main character we're playing, I should have mentioned that at the very beginning. His name is, uh, Mike Loir, I think it's pronounced. Um, essentially, you know, he mentioned in that opening, in that cutscene, something about his, uh, brother, Luke. Um, he was killed in some kind of, I think it was like, his house got robbed when he was young, when they were both younger. And, um, so he, Mike blames himself for not being able to help his brother, um, and so, you know, he has tormented dreams kind of sometimes about, uh, not being able to, uh, help his brother. Of course, this is stuff I, was, I kind of assume would be in the, uh, user manual that came with the game, but considering this is an emulation, I don't have one, so. Come on, up you go. Oh crap, that's a lot. That's two watt wireless. And there's more. One, one, one. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Woo. Fuck you, doggy. Fuck you. Not literally, mind you. That pounding sound is Maybe. really creepy. I tell tell hard about hey it. Hi. Glad you could make it. How could I refuse your offer? How could I ever refuse you, Agneta? You can't. I'm simply irresistible. Uh-huh, sure. I hope you read the file I gave you and read it real well. You keep well. thinking that. Between the lines, you'll find the sign. You know, with the N64 graphics and all you. In, don't look all you that know, hot. way over here, I got to thinking about these it. dark souls. If they're so damn well, dangerous, something else. why yeah, didn't maybe the might be hard. just destroy them? Because that's impossible. Their power is their immortality. If evil ever manages to implant these immortal souls into its monstrous slaves, can you imagine the carnage an immortal, unbeatable army would bring to the earth? That's Apocalypse, Shadowman. That's the end. Okay, okay. So I really gotta get to the Dark Souls before the bad guy. I understand that. But where do I find them? In Gobi. Each Gobi has been sealed by the most powerful voodoo. No. Not even the greatest Bokor or Mambo can open them to release the dark soul within. Believe me, I've tried. But a shadow man, or something even more powerful, just might be able to do it. Release the dark soul, and take it into yourself. But be warned, the dark souls are a pure and ancient evil, and possess a power that should not be abused. Okay, okay. Let's just get this thing over with. You got my stuff? Right here. Gun in a whoa, teddy bear. Here, Jesus, Luke, he's alive, alive and in pain. I've got to help him. He's dead, Mike. You know that. I know, but I saw. It's understandable that you still have strong feelings for your brother. That's why the bear works for you, connecting you to dead side. Use it now, Mike. Go dead side and find Jonty. He's waiting for you at the Merrow Gate. Yay, Jonty. He's got something to show you. Okay. And Mike. Yeah. If you need me, I'll be here. Now, go see Jaunty and get them Dark Souls. Right. So, um, kind of like in, um, uh, it, I guess it kind of works in a way similar Mike, to... Mike, use the bear. Go dead side. I will. Hold on. Um, kind of like how, um, I guess in Ocarina of Time and, uh, Majora's Mask, how you have a way to, uh, teleport <coughs> around, um... There's, obvi there's obviously one in here because there's, this place is pretty big. The, this game is actually pretty big. The um, dead side world, which is mainly where you mainly are for most of the game, or a large portion of the game. Uh, so we go to the inventory, uh, equip that in that hand. Uh, so you use the teddy bear, and you, as you find places, you get checkpoints, and there's quite a lot of checkpoints. No? Oh no, no. I mean, hold on, let's see. One, two, three, four. Four times one, two, three, f four. Uh, okay, like 16 and one, two, three, 
19. 19 total. So, uh, so we, all we have right now to go to is, uh, the mail gate.